was coming down to check on baby turtles, but look at this. <gasps> baby hog nose. Oh my goodness. Wait, there's two hatched eggs. Are there two of you out? I know that egg went bad and that egg went bad. Where's your sibling? He's missing from his egg. Are you underneath? No. Where's your sibling? Oh, you're so mad. All right, we're gonna have to dig. Um, baby hognose, where are you? I assume, oh, there you are. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure you were in here. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys up and since you two are out, I bet you guys pipped like yesterday. In which case, I need to peek in here and see who's inside. <laughs> Here are the proud parents. The mother is just our big normal female and the father is a an anaconda or conda phase for short. In case you haven't seen one of our hognose videos with conda morphs and you're not familiar with it, it's pretty easy to tell the difference. The conda phase hognose has a much more like reduced pattern than the wild type hognose does. In addition, if you look at the belly of a conda phase hognose, they have these beautiful white walls along each side and they often have a jet black belly but not all the time. That's not something that signifies it is a condomorph for sure because some condos have checkered bellies. But uh, compared to a wild type, they definitely have fewer checkers at least. We paired these two last year and they had a nice clutch of some uh, condos and some wild type. The condo gene is a codominant trait, so uh, statistically about 50% of the babies with this pairing should be condomorph and the other 50% should be wild type, just like mom. Unfortunately, this year though, we only got three good, well, we got four good eggs from her. One of them went bad in incubation, but the other three seem to have made it full term. So let's take a look and see what the babies look like. Let's take a peek. Oh, there they are. Aww, so the one that came out looks to be a normal or wild type coloration or pattern. Let's take a look at your belly. Oh, yep, <laughs> looks like uh, the white walls are non-existent on this baby. We have pretty uh, back and forth, almost looks like a, a piano actually, black and white scales. So this isn't a conda, but it is instead a beautiful normal or wild type hognose. And now let's take a look at the one that's hiding. Well, first maybe I'll take out these bad eggs. This was our avatar clutch, by the way. The water egg went bad almost right away, and that didn't really surprise me because it kind of looked half sluggy at first. This egg was... I didn't think it was gonna make it anyway, so that one doesn't surprise me that it went bad. But this one was earth, and this one was um, fire, and that means the one that hasn't hatched yet is the air, airbender. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. I don't know which of these two hatched eggs these babies came from, but oh, that looks like a conda phase. So I, what I'm looking for is I see, instead of a bunch of little spots, I see slightly fewer but larger spots. This is an example of kind of a lower expression conda because it's not super reduced in pattern. How about your belly? Oh, uh, yep, got a nice overall black belly and we have pretty solid white walls along the side. A little bit of checkering in there. So again, this is a low expression conda morph. Let's take a look at the airbender egg. What is inside? Hopefully you made it. Uh, I've found with hognose eggs, you don't cut them. You just kind of, you kind of tear them because the shells are so, so thin. Did you make it at least? Oh, the goop isn't super clear. That's not a good sign. Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't think, I don't think that guy made it full term. Aw, nope, definitely not. Should we, should we dissect that egg or would it be too gross? We'll look inside and if it's too bad, it'll be Patreon only. Uh, the dissection was too gross for YouTube, so we'll put it on Patreon and we'll put a link in the description So you don't even need an account on Patreon to view it, but you can go watch it if you want So for these two babies, they thankfully look very healthy. They look amazing and this little conda is so pudgy I'm just realizing. Are you flattening out to look scary or are you just pudgy? I think you're just fat. Oh, you're super cute. No, come back. Come back. Aww, here are our two little babies. Yeah, kind of a, an unfortunate year for breeding hognoses this year, but it is 2020, so I mean, that's probably what's cursing us for hogs right now. But if you look at the difference in their sheen, this baby still has kind of a shiny look to him. That baby sheen is just from the fact that he hasn't had his first shed yet. And unlike bull snakes, which shed after about a week from hatch, or after hatching, the hognoses tend to shed within a day or two after 
hatching. Some of them even hatch from their eggs mid-shed. So this little guy, being duller in coloration, has already shed, which should be in... Yep, here it is. Here's his shed. It's a really fine shed. It doesn't look like a normal shed for their first one. But the other baby still has not shed yet. So we're gonna let them sit for another day or two before moving them into baby bins, because even though I don't know exactly when they pipped and hatched, because they were just out today when I was checking on the turtles and I was too busy to check on them yesterday, I know for a fact that they're not older than two days, one day, because he hasn't shed. So we'll check back in a day or two. Ah, oh, they're so cute. I can see them through the hole. Let's take a look at these babies. Well, the second one should have shed by now, and yep, I don't see a baby sheen on either one. Oh, and I do see a shed here, yep. and a shed right there. So they both shed. So with most snakes, we take them out, like with bull snakes, we take them out and into their baby bins before they shed, because that takes about a week. But for hognose snakes and garter snakes, they shed almost immediately after hatching, like I kind of said earlier. So for these, we typically wait until they shed before moving them. You. Did you just musk on me? Are they boys or girls? Let's see. You are... Uh, oh, that's a tough one. Oh man, what do you think? I think that tapers right away. That's probably a girl. Just a long-tailed girl. That's say pretty... boy. You'd say a boy? Yeah. So they seem like a little bit like right but it's there. So thin. And it might still be... It might be developing still. Hmm. Okay, that one might have to take probe. a closer... Yeah, maybe probe or... How about this one? Oh, that one I think is a girl. Yeah, I can see girl on that one. Yep, girl. It's pretty, pretty short tail, and it tapers right away. I don't. I think they're both girls. I don't know. But maybe we'll have to probe that one. Yeah. Anyway, how big are they? Your average baby bull snake, or baby bull snake. The average baby hog nose in our experience is about eight grams or so, six to eight grams. So six, six. grams. Oh, and how about the conda? How big are you? Eight, eight grams! Yeah, six to eight. Aw, perfect! Say, that one looked chunkier than that one did. Yeah! Oh, you guys are so cute together. What is something people are familiar with that weighs eight grams, six to eight grams? How about a quarter? Six! Oh, hey, okay. So an American quarter weighs six. And then we can do two nickels. That's eight grams, okay. That's eight grams. Are those Canadian? One of them's Canadian, one of them's... Well, what is this? That says United States on it, it's just yeah. a weird pattern. So, oh, cool. a Canadian quarter. Is that a quarter? That's a five cent piece. That's a nickel. A Canadian nickel. <laughs> so two nickels. For some reason it's weighing ten now. Oh, weird. How about a marker cap? Oh, nope. How about a marker? Oh! How about a marker without its cap? There we go. Perfect! So hog noses weigh in between an American quarter and a marker without its cap yeah. for comparison. So if you're trying to figure out something from home to hold in your hand and compare to how much these tiny babies weigh, now you know what you can do. Okay, well let's get their baby bins ready. There! Here you go, friends. Oh, he's so shy. Or she. I'm gonna say she. They are so cute. Ready to say goodbye to each other. You're going into your own bins. Goodbye. Aww, cute. Well, the sad thing is this is our last clutch of snakes to hatch for this season. So we're, we're done. Now we just have some mystery turtle eggs to hatch and our baby season is over. But it was crazy. We had tons of babies this year. Well, I'm sad that our snake's baby season is coming to a close, but we still ended on a positive note with some cute little baby hognose snakes. Thank you everybody for watching, and as always, thank you to our Patreon backers for your generous support. We did have quite a long waiting list for hognoses this year, but unfortunately we did not get many babies this year, so I won't be able to make it very far into the waiting list if you are on it, so I do apologize if you're not able to get one of these cute little babies, but I am going through the list right now, and Hopefully I reach your name if you're on it. The plan with these babies right now is to let them sit for about a week, well, probably about four more days since they're already on day three, and then we're going to offer them day-old pinkies for their first meal. And once they've taken a few meals successfully, we will send them off to their new homes. Thanks again, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next time.